my fellow Canadians, I come to you tonight having heard a portion of the Prime Minister's announcement that there will be a probe into election interference. And when I heard it, I thought about a fact that my father introduced to me that I had never heard before. And that was that Canada ranks among the top countries for its education system and among the top countries for the number of universities per capita. It gives me a visual because we have so many universities in comparison to our population it gives me the visual of having a big head representing much knowledge but a very small body the part that works out what's happening in the head and when i heard about this probe that's been announced i wondered how many probes have we had in this nation, inquiries, commissions. And one reporter dared to ask the Prime Minister, you know, Prime Minister, you've had this inquiry and this inquiry, and it has been said by even those who have led it that many of the recommendations have not been implemented. Of course, he attempted to refute this fact. But we are crying out, we're crying out in this nation but more than a cry, there are people on the ground now that know that we need more than our head. Our head hasn't helped us. We need a body, a force that will flip over the tables, say enough is enough, and begin to put something in place. It comes from having a different spirit. It comes from not just hearing a thing, but doing a thing. We're almost there. Take heart, my fellow Canadians. For the more these things go on, the more they expose themselves. And the more things are exposed, the clearer they can be identified to be taken out in a way that will bring true freedom and reformation. Until next time, it's Renee with Not Sorry for the Story. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong.